Oh yes. Shots of the Juggers. What's that about? What is this? Yeah, who's that guy right there? What a guy. Hello. Yes. You're being flimmed. You're being flimulated. Oh my gosh, it's so horrible. Welcome to Skycam 2016. Yeah, wave at me, guys. Left to right. Here we go. Wave at the camera. Wave at the camera. Ah! Who's ready to go to Carowinds today? Well, woo! Yeah, fine. Or else. All right. We're gonna have fun or else. Yeah, there's somebody cool waving at me. I knew it. There's another one. Who else is out there that's cool? There's another one. I knew it. And another one right there. Yeah, and another one. And another. And the same one again. And the same one with the other hand. Ah, two hands. Good morning, Caleb. What's going on? Uh, good morning. How you doing today, sir? Good. All right, are you ready for this big day at Carowinds? Excited. The camera's over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. And how many rides are you going to ride? 300. Wow! Which one first? The water ride? No! Yes! That, I call that the Devilish thing. No way! You're riding the Furious. This part, you're riding the Furious. Infuriating.
proud of you, Scott! <laughs> Woo! Gonna do great, even the ones that look so mean. Yes, you're gonna do great! That's right! Tri-County Concert Band! Yeah! Great to see you all. We're in here to rehearse. Oh yeah. Gonna be crazy. Quick announcement. Listen up. Very important. Straight from the top. Right there. There she is. <laughs> Smaller cases. You can take on the stage. Put it under your seat. Larger cases for larger instruments. There will be a place off to the side where you can put those larger cases. So like flutes, clarinets, trumpets, probably no larger than a trumpet case. Okay guys? Make sense? Good. Wave at me and go crazy! Right now, yeah! Awesome! selections are Majestic March by Paul Lavender, Air of Nobility by James Swearingen, and Cold Water Creek by Robert Sheldon. After the band has performed their last musical selections, if the band will remain seated, Professor James Swearingen would like to come up and say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tri-County Concert Band.
stage, listening to the instructions by the, the directors and the people in charge and things like that. You look nice today. What more could I ask for, right? Be quiet. <laughs> you want to say something? Say something. What's that? 185? Wow. <laughs> you did that pretty well. Did you have fun today? Yes. And I'm talking about fun playing instruments. I'm not talking about fun in the park, okay? That's, that's a gift. Music is such a wonderful thing, isn't it? And the nice thing about music, uh, amongst other things like sports and things like that, it gives you a chance to have group success. And uh, so I want to emphasize to you the importance of not necessarily being an individual group, but trying to develop a individual group. Does that make sense? So we're really trying to play for each other. In fact, I, I've teased some bands that I've worked with sometimes. I almost wish there was some way that when we play our instruments and music, we could kind of hold hands together and lay arms together so that we can see that we're trying to play. You're playing for this person, you're playing for this person, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, like that. So I like the music you played. I should say that because you played one of my pieces, didn't you? You know which one's my piece? Air of Nobility. What can you tell me about Air of Nobility? It's fun? What makes music fun for you? Everything. I agree, music is fun for me. If it wasn't fun for me, I wouldn't have been up at 5.30 this morning writing music in my hotel room because I got some writing deadlines that I have to get done. Do you ever get up at 5.30 in the morning to do your homework? No? Yes, you do? Well, let me just give you some things to, to encourage you to keep improving because I understand we don't get the, we don't practice very much. Did you say they practice about one day a week? One hour a week. One hour a week. One hour a week on Monday nights. And and this is a relatively newly formed ensemble, right? It's a one year old. Wow. Yes. So I guess our goal over the next several years is to try to just keep getting better and better and maybe try to prove increase the rehearsal time, would you say? That's the best plan. Well, if we can do that, miracles can happen, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So you keep trying to become the best musicians that you can be. You practice hard, maybe take private lessons, maybe bring clinicians in, you know, talk to the kids and things like that. You do those kind of things. I was really, you know, this is a constructive criticism, but it's also a positive criticism, or, you know, a positive comment, is you have so many percussionists so when the band is playing, the percussionists are a little loud, I said. You know, we, we, got, we got to understand that when the band is not playing and the percussionists are playing by themselves, that's the time to play out like you did. And you did that wonderfully. But then when the band comes in, you have to work so hard to try to get down underneath that sound. All right? So it's really important that as you're playing your instruments, you realize what part you have in the band and what is important and what needs to be heard. You know what the most important part is we want to hear in any band piece? Does anybody know? Anybody want to take a guess? Say it. The melody. What's your name? Travis. Travis. You're pretty smart. Yeah, the melody is the thing that we want to hear the most. So when, you, when you're working on your music and your band director says, clarinets, flutes, you have the melody or trumpets, that's the part we want to hear the most, okay? So you try to bring out the melodic part, and then everything else is intended to complement who has the melody. So you keep striving to do that. I think you're going to do great. I'm very proud of you being here today, okay? And I hope my comments will reflect that today. What questions would you like to ask me as a composer? I don't know if you get to meet composers every day. Is there a question you'd like to ask? What steps do you take to write? What steps do I take to write music? Do you have any inspiration? I'm always inspired by writing music. You're my inspiration this morning. You know, when I know that my music is being played by young students like this all over the world, it's very inspirational. I just got back this uh, year, early in the year, I went to Norway, and I worked with young kids over in Norway, Travis, just like you, same age and everything. They love music, you know, and they love different people's music, and I was so thrilled that they like some of my music. I went to Singapore not too long ago and worked with the students in Singapore and young people across the world. It's a small world. They all love music. They all want to play music to the best of their ability. So thank you for that question, Travis. That inspires me to work with young people like yourselves like that.
Who else has a question? Aaron, no good. How long did it take you to write that? You know, part of the problem with my writing music is I try to write in the in-between time. Do you know what in-between time means? For me, it's in between trying to be a good husband, trying to be a good father, trying to be a good grandfather, trying to do other things like travel down here. You know, I'm not writing as much music the last three or four days because I've been working with young people like yourselves. And so I, I would guess probably it took me about two weeks of, you know, off and on time to write something like Air of Nobility. You know, much harder music would take me, I might have to spend two or three weeks a month writing a, a larger scale piece. Uh, but whatever I do, I try to give it my best effort and I try to make sure that I get enough attention to it so that the finished product will be good. Do you do that in your schoolwork? No? I guess I asked the wrong question. That's okay. That's all right. Any other questions? What's my favorite color? I, I will. Okay, well. Hands down, guys.